Hey, what is gonna guys POG here and welcome to today's video in this video I will be creating a new world which is all about to the people who are new to Minecraft or the people who just want to have some entertainment going on. So in this video, we will be starting and kind of helping the people who are new to Minecraft to learn how to play Minecraft. So pretty much, I am on my computer right now. We're playing the latest version of Minecraft. This one is 1.11.2. Uh, Minecraft, all of us know, it's available on Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, PC, uh, you know, Android, iOS. Uh, a lot of devices have Minecraft. So it's a very popular, very amazing game. And I know a lot of people are out there wanting to play Minecraft. But there's all these uh, frustrations that you don't know what to do in Minecraft. So... This is what this video is here for. I also have a very beefy computer, so we're gonna have a great quality of a video going on. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. So uh, here's my settings. So obviously when you first start playing Minecraft, there's the settings. So if you don't have a very good computer, if you're playing on the computer, go to video settings and start lowering down some settings. So I want the frame rate to me be around 60 frames per second. I want it to be there. So that's what VSync is here. So I have 60 frames locked, everything is maxed out, and uh, we're going to be playing Minecraft on the highest quality as possible. So to first start playing Minecraft on a computer or any console, you have to create a brand new world. Now to create a map, all you have to do is click on create a new world on a computer or even on a console, and then you need to name your world. Now naming a world is pretty simple, you can name it anything you want. So I'm, in this case I'm going to name it to just a Minecraft... Um, fun i'm just gonna name it minecraft fun because we're having fun right uh, then we have survival as an option we have hardcore and we have creative creative is all about having fun you can fly you can break anything you want with a punch and if you ever uh switch to survival and you die or whatever you can blow a bunch of tnt and uh you know you're never gonna get hurt unless you're in survival so it's pretty awesome then we got survival which is all about limited resources and allows you to uh, kind of survive your way through the entire world but you have multiple lives. You have to go for diamonds, you have to go to caves. It's my favorite survival, it's like my favorite when it comes to Minecraft. My second favorite is hardcore. Why I like hardcore and why I dislike hardcore? I like hardcore because it's in like hard difficulty and you only get one life and it's kind of a very challenging thing where you have to like try to survive because as soon as you die, your map gets deleted, which is unbelievably terrible. But that's the fun of it. Um, I mean, you have to be very careful. So if you play hardcore, uh, make sure you try not to die. Uh, that's why I'd recommend you to go with survival first. So now we're at survival and we're gonna have more world options down here on PC. So we're gonna have a seed. Seed is, let's say you've seen a very cool world and you wanna play on that world. What you have to do is type in the seed over here, whatever that world seed was, and it's gonna go ahead and put you into that world where you can already know coordinates about where things are and you can have a nice start. In my opinion, I prefer having a brand new world that's like just gonna happen because it's a, it's a lot better for me to figure out, oh wow, this is a very cool thing and this is what my world is. So I'm gonna leave it blank. Sometimes you can put any anything you want. You can put a, like a funny name or whatever. Uh, but if you leave it blank, it's gonna be a random seed. Then we have generate structure. So this one is very important in my opinion. It allows you to have villagers and dungeons and all that stuff. So make sure you have this on on a PC or even on the consoles. Then we got the world type. So we have default, which is pretty much a regular nice map. We get super flat. Uh, with this one, it allows you to customize it. I would not recommend this for survival uh, since this is mainly for creative in case you want a flat land to build a lot of crazy stuff. Then we have the large biomes. Now, large biomes is going to be a very big map with a bunch of big biomes. Uh, not really my favorite, so you be the judge. Then we have Amplified. Now this one will need you to have a very good computer for this to work. Uh, it's pretty much very huge structure uh, type of things. There's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it's like very nice big mountains. It's a very cool thing. It's very high up off the ground. Then you have Customize. So you can customize the way you want. So you can have Stronghold or you cannot have Stronghold wherever you want. Uh, it kind of allows you to customize wherever you want. My favorite is just the default. Now we're going to select villages, make sure they're on. Then you have a lot of cheats. What this allows you to do, anytime in the game if this is on, you have the right to switch between creative and give yourself an experience. 
I don't like to have that on because sometimes if you have that on, it's gonna like you like, oh, you know what? Okay, I'm bored. I need diamonds. I'm just gonna switch real fast to creative. And then you're kind of gonna ruin that experience for yourself. So with me, unless this is gonna be mainly for building, I would go ahead and turn this on. But most of the time, I play my entire Xbox Minecraft world completely survival. I have never made that, uh, you know, um, any any mods available or anything like that. It was always survival, no host privileges, nothing. It was always survival. Then we have bonus chest. In my opinion, you can have this on, but if you want something more hardcore, uh, you can just not have this on. This one will just give you sometimes melon seeds, which is pretty cool before you find the dungeon. So turn this on, it's gonna be a nice chest in front of you once you start. So here we go, Minecraft fun. Let's go ahead and create our beautiful new world. So the creating of the world shouldn't take that long and when the world creates, in my opinion, it's the best thing not to move right away. So the world ends up generating for you. As you can see there, it nicely generated for me and uh, sometimes you might even have auto jump on. As you can see there, I'm not jumping but the game itself is jumping. So the first things first I do is I go ahead and double check the options. So we have the controls and what we want to do is turn off the auto jump. That's how you turn that off and uh, then click done. So now if I go next to a block, I have to uh, press space in order to jump like so. And on a console, you have to press on Xbox A or on PlayStation 4 or 3, you press the X. Okay, so here is our beautiful chest. As you can see, we have some rose salmon and all that stuff. And we're gonna grab this. Usually the best thing to do is even break the chest and it's gonna give you all this stuff. So this is what the bonus chest is. Uh, sometimes you can get very, very lucky. Okay, what's going on? Okay, that was a very strange thing happened. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. But thankfully we have an X. So uh, with an X, what you end up doing is you can get some wood. Normally all you need wood for is uh, just getting... Okay, why am I having issues with this stuff breaking? I have no idea what's going on. Is it because I'm next to the spawn? I'm guessing I'm just next to the spawn. This is, this is the reason why this is happening. Yeah, see, it's no longer happening because I'm probably... Uh, I shouldn't be, like, trying to get the stuff right away from the spawn. Uh, that can happen. If it does happen, uh, just, uh, I guess, move away from this place. But you can see now it's finally working very nice. And I can get it. Now, the first things... And uh, hopefully they don't come back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this world. But in my opinion, this is a very nice world right now. So let's get rid of that one. Okay. So here is our world. Once you get this, grab these four torches from the bonus chest, obviously. This is going to be very useful for you um, down the road. The next thing you need to worry about is food. So I know some people might not want to, uh, you know, kill the, let's say, pigs or anything like that. But you need food to survive in Minecraft. You can have a farm, but most of the time if you jump and hit them, uh, they will be much easier to be um, killed. Just like jump and heat and they'll give you pork chop so you can cook this and I recommend you to cook it before you can eat it Next thing you need to do is get some cow because cow gives you leather. That's an achievement plus um, it also gives you a um, Leather like I said beef even uh, and what that does is it allows you to use the leather uh, to make books as far as I remember and where did this person go? Uh, since this is a very nice world, as you can see there, we even have a very, very cool open cave there. Uh, you only have about 10 minutes for the night time co to come. And what you want to do is right there. This is the material you very, very need. This one is a coal. And as you can hear there, I had just heard the zombies. So there could be a zombie there. Now, next thing is the brightness. As you can see here, it's pretty dark in here. So what you want to do is press the escape or go to the option on the console. And then you want to go to video settings and make sure this is bright. Regularly, it's usually like moody. And look how dark this place is if I have it like that. So the way only you light it up, you place a torch down and this is what happens. But if you have it all the way bright, uh, it kind of lights up much better for you, as you can see there. So very, very big differences, which is pretty cool. So I can put this down here. And what I'm going to do, actually, is just grab a bunch of bunch of smooth stone. Just like so. So we're going to grab all of these smooth stone. And we need about, uh, I'd say, um, let's say, like, probably a bit more. Uh, because we also need a furnace but right now what I need to do is make tools the most important thing in my opinion in Minecraft is actually uh, the the dirt itself because if there's no dirt there's no trees so saplings can't really grow on on, on nothing else other than than dirt so if there's no dirt there's no um, there's no tree. If there's no tree, there's no tools. And if there's no tools, you can't get anything else other than dirt or sand and stuff like that. So 
Now what you need to do, where is this zombie dying from? Okay, this is probably morning for him, that's why. So in mornings, uh, zombies start burning, skeletons start burning, uh, but if they're in water, they don't burn. So caves are very dangerous, make sure you are there with caution. Now here's a wood, any type of wood, you can put it here and it's going to give you, the log is going to become a wood planks. With these, you need to make a crafting table. On a console, you have the option to automatically turn on um, the recipe, so it's automatically there to like craft, and then you have the classic crafting. On a Windows computer, it's classic crafting. So we're going to put this down here, and we need to start making sticks. To make sticks, you put this here, and you get the planks again. Then you put the planks like so. Then it gives you four sticks. Now, if you don't want to grab this and put it here, what you do is you press shift on the computer and then you click on this and everything would come there. So if I have this right now and I press shift and click, it will automatically come back down here. What I'm going to do now is I need to make some tools. So I'm going to make a pickaxe. This allows you to mine, uh, you know, smooth stone and stuff like that a lot faster. So there's, there is the wood, which I don't recommend you to have. There is, um, there's the iron, there's gold, and diamonds. In my opinion, the best pickaxe you can get is iron and diamond. So um, now we're going to go ahead and make an axe to get some more wood later on. So here's how you get an axe. Just make an axe shape. Then we need a sword. Now we need to get food. So we're going to make about two swords because we need to kill some mobs later on to kind of survive the night. Um, so there it is. This is what we need. And we have also eggs. Um, you can also start your own farm as soon as you want. You can grab some seeds by breaking these. But right now, I don't think we have a lot of issues when it comes to having, um, how to put it, having food because there's a lot of mobs. But as you can see, by breaking the grass, it does end up giving us some seed. Uh, the next step is to use your pickaxe, which is this one in here. So this is called a pickaxe. And you go ahead and start collecting as much smooth stone as you can right now. The black piece of thing within this smooth stone we sow, that's, that's coal. Coal allows you to smelt things, cook things. And it allows you to make torches. It's a very uh, very nice thing to have. So we're going to grab this cobblestone. And now we need to go back into my crafting table. And turn this into a furnace. To make a furnace, what you have to do is kind of go around like this. You need eight pieces of cobblestone. And then it gives you a furnace. So we put the furnace here. And now we can even cook this raw salmon and give ourselves some food. So what I'm going to do here, either you can use wood, which I don't recommend because we have a um, we have a torch, uh, I mean coal right here. So we're going to grab this coal. And if you don't find any coal and you want to have some source, because if you don't have source, mobs are going to spawn. So make sure you have a nice little place in your house. Other otherwise, uh, mobs are going to spawn in your house. And you don't want that to happen. So make sure your living space is nicely lit. So each piece of coal will allow you to smelt eight types of items, such as you can smelt a, um, let's say you can smelt, you know, um, this cobblestone into a smooth stone, which is this material over there. Um, and then you can turn that into stone bricks. We'll go into more details there once we get into building, let's say. But like, if you, let's say, want to make a coal right now, what you want to do is you press this wood here, such a log, then you press, uh, place this here. So if you don't want to place that, you only have sticks. Sticks are flammable. So you can put the sticks on the bottom and the log will turn into charcoal, which will al allow you to make torches. Torches are the light source. So we're going to go ahead and get it. So as you can see now, we have a charcoal. What I'm going to do now is going to put the, keep one coal and then I'm going to put all of these here and start like cooking the fish. And then later I'll put the pork chop to, to cook. Now we're going to go over here and we can see. So if I actually, you don't even have to click on the crafting table. If you press E or I, depends on your um, specifications there. Uh, if I put this one stick and then I put this, as you can see, we get a torch. If I do the opposite way, we still get a torch. So you'd probably need a charcoal if you're making a, if you needed to make torch. So I'm going to do a torch right now because I don't need to have this in my inventory since you can only get charcoal by doing that. Uh, and as you can see there, that's cooked. Now we're going to put this one and collect this one. And the way I did that is by pressing shift. Um, now I'm going to get the remaining of this coal. And if you want to build a house, uh, if you build out of wood and you have flint and steel, you can actually end up burning your house down if you decide to put a fireplace. So wood is flammable, obviously, and smooth stone isn't. Uh, so, or cobblestone even. Now there's our pork chop there. What I'm going to do is, this is a mushroom. If you have a brown mushroom, it will allow you to have a, uh, like, you can make a mushroom stew. It's going to it's gonna give you food and you can heal yourself. 
Now I'm gonna go and start like getting some meat from this cows because meat is very very important in Minecraft. Meat is the way you can survive. I think the beef is the only meat that allows you to um that allows you to how to put it um survive. Let's say it, it runs much much slower than anything else. Okay, there we go. And uh, now we have some speed. If you dub if you like double press W like fast you're gonna start sprinting then going normal so this is normal speed and this is sprinting as you can see on the bottom right there we have a hunger bar it's like a chicken legs or whatever if you jump it's gonna affect that if you sprint it's gonna affect that and once that goes down your health starts um, going down with it and also what ends up happening is as soon as that's all the way down if you're playing in hard difficulty uh, that ends up actually um, Getting you killed, so you can run you all the way to zero hearts. You start losing hearts once that is completely gone. Uh, I'll, I can like not eat and show you guys what happens if you don't eat, so you'll know if you haven't known already. So this was it for this morning, but we're gonna have to um, like how to put it. You can either get wood. In this case, we don't even need this wooden pickaxe, but we have this now over here. It tells you that it does a three attack damage for a pickaxe, and it does a nine attack damage for the X. And it also does a 5 attack damage uh, for the sword. So as you can see there, um, 9 attack damage. So the axe is the only one that gives you the most damage. So if we go and hit a cow with the axe, it will do more damage than what a sword would do. So let's go down over here and, and say hi to one of the cows, which is right over here. Hello, buddy. So if we jump and hit him, yeah, as you can see, he dies right away. I'm not sure if I just hit him once. So yeah, once doesn't really work, but if you like jump hit them like this, they die right away. If you do that with a sword, they probably wouldn't, as you can see. So X is the most damaging um, subject, I guess, when it comes to mobs. Once you, if you don't have it enchanted. Hello, buddy. Come over here. Thank you. And um, that's how you do things. Now, a lot of people would end up building a place for themselves to stay for the night. As you can see, night is coming. This is this is what it is. So the sun is setting down and the moon is going to come from this way. And uh, you can skip the night. If you want to skip the night, you can go ahead and make a bed. For a bed, you need three planks of wood and any type of wool. You need three wool in order to make a bed. To make a bed is very simple, but I'm not sure if we have anything that can help me to make one. So in that case, I'm going to show you how to survive if you are here at, uh, at a, such a terrible time as it is right now. So we're going to start making a shelter. We're going to turn this cave into a shelter. And this is my favorite way of survival in Minecraft. We make something to survive ourselves. So this is a very nice cave. It's very open. And all we have to worry about is actually the things inside the cave uh, to protect ourselves. Now, I'm not going to eat just because I want to um, go ahead and be protective. So we're going to go ahead and build this place over here. So we'll know, make sure it's all safe to do so. There we go. And we have some wood, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to start getting more, more uh, cobblestone so, to cover that up. And what I'm going to do with the wood is I'm going to need to make a door. So let's go ahead and uh, do this right here. And as you can see there, that's a skeleton as far as I can see. Yeah, most likely it is. We can go ahead and say hi to them so you guys can see what happens if you go and, and say hi to a mob. There we go. We're going to put this down there. And uh, we're going to need to clean up this a lot more. So skeletons shoot arrows. And the arrows, if you're in hard difficulty, does a lot of, quite a bit of damage. So we're going to put this down here. So as you can see right now, if I go over to the options, we're playing on normal difficulty. You can have hard uh, and you can have peaceful. Peaceful is a setting that doesn't allow mobs to spawn. So it's a nice and peaceful environment so you don't die. So if it's your actual first time playing Minecraft and you're scared, Put it on peaceful, it's going to help you out to learn how to play the Minecraft game. And this doesn't let any mobs to spawn, such as skeletons, creepers. Creepers are the terrible ones in my opinion. But we're going to put it on normal because I, I just prefer normal right now. But hard is my favorite. So we're going to get this um, like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my crafting table down, which is right over here. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, make ourselves a door for a door we need to have six pieces of material so as you can see i don't think material matters oh yeah it does matter nowadays okay so make sure you have the same type of wood okay so make sure you have so this is a spruce wood there's uh there's birch there's acacia there is a um there is uh what do you call it there is the dark oak there is the oak oops uh we have the birch um jungle 
there's just way too many different doors and you get different type of doors every time you make a door so we're gonna do this here uh, and probably even put this down here like so and uh, put a light here so we don't end up losing where the place is now once you go to three hunger bars what ends up happening is that your health doesn't really um, you cannot sprint uh, oh boy oh boy there's why is there so much mobs okay what is going on okay there's a lot of mobs uh, so these are spiders spiders um, attack you obviously uh, okay, so as you can see, they're doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, you can have armor, which, uh, okay, I don't want to die in the first day. Okay, I'm probably going to die if I don't get back home. Because uh, if you don't eat food, it doesn't uh, generate your health. Um, so as you can see there, my health isn't generating unless I have some food. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, since spiders can't really get in through these type of doors, I can stay back and let the zombies get over a lot closer, and I can hit the zombies instead. So if I hit this guy here... As you can see, okay, why is there so much zombies? Zombie gives you rotten flesh. And I think they just like trap themselves that they can't even come in. Okay, so you can also do a multi-attack damage as you can see. So if they're standing next to each other, you hit one, the other ones also get um, damaged. The scary part about this right now is make sure no mob come behind me because we're in a cave. Which isn't the smartest thing to do in my opinion. Okay, that's a zombie villager. Okay. Oh boy. Is it like going up and down? Oh my god. Okay. So as you can see, I'm not going to let them kill me. So I'm just going to eat this food. And we can try to let the health go down a lot. Like sometime later. later. But as you can see now, uh, the hearts are regenerating. And uh, everything looks okay. Where is this? Where is the zombie villager? Oh, there it is. Okay. Hi, buddy. Okay. So what ended up happening is a villager probably got attacked by a zombie and it became a zombie villager. Hello, how's it going? I don't understand why the zombies don't come in. Because they can fit through this door and I just don't get why they're not coming. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this door and we're going to kind of go exploring some stuff. So I have this and I'm going to make some more torches like so. Put that down there. And we're going to go, like, exploring. We're going to look for iron. Which is a... Oh! Oh! Oh, this is a very dangerous mob. Okay, don't want to mess with this guy. What ends up happening is they do explode. So if you're near to them, they explode like that. And they can easily kill you. So be careful from creepers. And it's not that easy to kill them. Unless you have a diamond sword, in my opinion. So be careful from creepers. That's for sure. Okay, there's another one here. I try to kill this guy. So if you sprint back and, and stay away from them, they're not going to explode. There we go. This should be the last hit. There we go. Okay. So over here, it looks like we have a more coal and no iron. So what I'm looking for at this moment is iron. Uh, iron is pretty much like a bronzy um, looking thing. <laughs> if that's the best way to explain it. But I'm happy that we have a cave right here. It's a very good future. So we're also going to have some cooked pork chop. And uh, make sure we use that when we can. So there's some... Put some lights, especially if this is going to be the living space for us. We need a lot of lights. Okay, that guy's dead. And we need some more lighting in here because there's a creeper, obviously. Hit him, knock him backwards. Hit him, knock him backwards. Just move away from him. Don't stay next to him because it is not good if you do it. Gunpowder can be used to make like TNTs, which just makes uh explosions and it ends up like clearing up a cave so if you want to open up a cave very nice you can use tnt to do that but right now what we're looking for is iron because iron is one of the awesomest materials you need to find right away which is nowhere to be found right now surprisingly because they're usually everywhere when it comes to like having you know the coal and all that so we're gonna go ahead and grab this coal boy Make sure the coal is completely there before you stop using it. So there we go. We're going to need this to make a lot of torches because we need to soon go and start exploring a lot more. Which is probably going to be later on down the days. Okay, there is some more coal right over there, obviously. Alright. Awesome. Oh. How did I not remember about these? And boom. Beautiful. So, 
We have enough coal. I, uh, obviously, it's a good idea to get the coal, but uh, it does end up using quite a bit of... Uh, how to put it? It does end up using quite a bit of health of your tool, and uh, uh, and it takes a lot of time to get it with this particular uh, thing. So what you want to do now is uh, you kind of build yourself a place. So what I'm going to do is to avoid anything coming to here. So in my opinion, this is a very safe place at this moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this cobblestone barrier at this moment, since I don't really have a lot of cobblestone, and kind of uh, stop them from spawning. So spiders can go through that gap, but right now they can't. And uh, you can have like, let's say, another one that goes around like so. So they can't really come there once you, once you build whatever you're gonna do here.